we come to the shortest distance between two lines, okay. Shortest distance between two lines. Okay. Now you see in 2 D whenever a line is not parallel it has to intersect each other and hence the shortest distance between those lines will be 0, but in a 2 D. And whenever you have got parallel lines in a 2 D they will obviously not intersect and the distance between them remains the same. So, the shortest distance is, is, is the perpendicular distance at any point. Okay. At any point you take the distance. Now, the moment you cross to the domain of 3D things become different. So, here there will be two lines which will still not intersect and they are not parallel. So, so two non parallel lines may not intersect in a, a 3D and these lines are called skew lines. For example, these two pens if you, you keep on taking them to infinity they will not intersect. You understand? This will simply not intersect. Such lines are called skew lines. Okay. So, the non parallel lines, the non parallel lines that do not intersect in a 3D, in 3D are called, called skew lines. Are called skew lines. Okay. Now, I have to find the shortest distance between these two skew lines, okay. shortest distance. Now, you will understand one thing whenever we talk about the shortest distance say for example, this the shortest distance will be that direction which will be perpendicular to both the vectors both the lines shortest is defined like that. Okay. So, if I ask how far am I from this board, what will be the answer? How much? 2 foot, okay. 2 foot, but that is my perpendicular distance because the board also extends there okay. and that is somewhere around 5 foot, 5 feet, right. Here is 2 feet. So, so what happens? What happens? We instinctively understand this that the distance is the perpendicular distance if it is not between two points. If it is between a line and a, and a point, this is a line and this is a point, what is the distance? We will say approximately one and a half centimeter. So, what are we telling? We are actually telling that this is the distance. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And this distance is the perpendicular distance. Okay. Now, when you are dealing with two lines, and obviously I cannot even draw two skew lines on this board because they'll they'll look like as if they are intersecting. So, so just look at this. Okay. Now, what happens? One of you hold this. Thank you. Now, what happens? You see this is the distance. So, so I, I have a possibility of shortening it, shortening it, shortening it, shortening, shortening, shortening. You see this. Are you able to see that? Wait. Wait. As I will. Okay. Just wait. Suppose these two are the lines and I am trying to explore what is the shortest distance. So, let us say I start like that. Okay. So, I start like that. So, it is shortening, shortening, shortening. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, it is the shortest when it is perpendicular to both. Okay. When it is perpendicular to both. Thank you. 
okay it is the shortest when it is perpendicular to both so first of all i'll have to find that direction i'll have to find that direction which makes it perpendicular to 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 both the vectors okay now so this is one of the vectors and you should understand it will look as if this is intersecting but actually it is not okay actually it is not intersecting because they are in space so so they are kind of like that so this green pen pen is this and this is like that but i am drawing it there okay now what happens now what happens i want a direction that is perpendicular to both the vectors okay and and i'll say this is parallel to a vector b1 and this is parallel to another vector b2 okay fine so maybe maybe this is b1 this is b1 uh, okay and and this is b2 and this is say b2 this one looks parallel so this is b2 okay fine i want a direction which is parallel to both which operation between the vectors has got the capacity to give me a vector that is perpendicular to both cross product when you take cross product of two vectors the vector that you get is perpendicular to both the vectors or to the plane that contains both the vectors and i had told you though it is not possible in case of the lines in vectors you can actually shift the vectors to to make their tails coincide to make their tails coincide and hence there can always be drawn a plane that is that contains both of the vectors this i had told you yesterday perhaps okay so what do we do we actually first of all find that direction the direction of the shortest distance the direction of the shortest distance is is that direction which is perpendicular which is perpendicular to both the vectors which is perpendicular to both the vectors okay and how do we get that and that direction is and that direction is b1 cross b2 okay so what we had just seen with with karna with with these two vectors so i have found out that direction okay now obviously these lines are given as r is equal to a plus lambda b1 and this line is given as r is equal to a plus maybe this is a1 and this is a2 plus mu b b2 okay mu b2 fine they are they are they might be different points they are different points on the line okay now what i do i connect those vectors a2 minus a1 okay now again think hold this pen now again think i have got this direction fine look at this figure otherwise you won't understand i have this shortest distance vector which is represented short the direction of the shortest distance this is not still i have not got the shortest distance right so i have got a vector in which in whose direction i have the shortest distance okay now i do this i take this green pen okay so, say say this like this or, or say this like this there is a vec there is a point a1 here and there is a point a2 here i connect it you get the point i connect this so i get a vector which is a2 
minus a1 do we understand that i get a vector which is a2 minus a1 hmm? so so we we get the vector a2 minus a1 we get the vector a2 minus a1 now what happens if i get a2 minus a1 what happens again again hold this so this was like that this like this i have this as my as my direction of the shortest distance okay give me another pen and this yellow pen as a2 minus a1 okay a2 minus a1 do we see that now what happens if i find the projection of this along this okay so it is something like this what will be its projection along this along this vector if 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 the ends lie on this what will be the projection what will be the projection see what i do i'll i'll just, just hold, hold it a bit high huh? i'll i'll shift it parallel like this okay i can shift it parallel to itself no you're not able to see oh, how are you? so 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 this is my this yellow is my a2 minus a1 vector are you able to see that this this is how it is working this red is my direction of the this red is my direction of shortest distance and this is my a2 minus a1 okay so what i do what i do maybe i shift it like that okay i shift it like this and then i take its projection now see what happens this is still perpendicular to this so the shortest distance will be the projection of if if it is like that i shift it like that and take the projection then what will happen it will it will come and fall here it will come and fall here and it will make a, make an angle of 90 degree okay it will make an angle of 90 degree so from here i shift it like this and take the projection what will happen it will make it will be the shortest distance so it is like taking the projection of a2 minus a1 so we get the vector a2 minus a1 the projection of the projection of a2 minus a1 in the direction of in the direction of b1 cross b2 gives the shortest distance now what is the projection how how had we defined the projection that projection of a on b was a dot b cap so whatever vector you are taking projection on that should become a unit vector and you dot it so what do i do i am trying to find out the projection of a2 minus a1 on b1 cross b2 so i'll do a2 minus a1 dot b1 cross b2 is a vector but this has to be made a unit vector whatever vector you are taking projection on has to become the unit vector correct so so it has to get divided by mod b1 cross b2 so this becomes unit is it not why because i have divided it rather i have multiplied it with the reciprocal of its own magnitude so its magnitude becomes 1 
so it becomes a unit vector correct so so this and you never know it will be positive or negative but that will depend on what is b1 cross b2 or b2 cross b1 so your shortest distance becomes this mod of this you get it now through vectors it becomes quite simple had you attempted through a cartesian thing it would have been virtually impossible okay now i would like to convert this into into the cartesian form this is a vector form so let us see what the cartesian form will look like so cartesian form what is the cartesian form what is a2 minus a1 what does a2 minus a1 look like so my a1 is actually x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap a2 was x2 i cap plus y2 j cap plus z2 k cap b1 is a1 i cap plus b1 j cap plus c1 k cap b2 is a2 i cap plus b2 j cap plus c2 k cap now what is b1 cross b2 can you tell me b1 cross b2 is given by i j k a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 this we know okay what is a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 is x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 minus y1 <coughs> j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap okay now if this vector dots with this you know what will happen hmm any idea see i has got coefficient what b1 c2 minus b2 c1 so x2 minus x1 will get multiplied by that so it means if i replace this by x2 minus x1 and this by y2 minus y1 and this by z2 minus z1 you will get a2 minus a1 dot b1 cross b2 do you understand that no hmm? no no okay so so then have you written this hmm? yes you have written so let me let me erase this okay i'll erase this and let me do this so i have let me write b1 cross b2 in the expanded form so that gives me what i cap this is i cap b1 c2 minus b2 c1 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 minus j minus j into a1 c2 minus a2 c1 plus k plus k cap obviously j cap obviously a1 b2 minus a2 b1 correct now you dot this with a2 minus a1 dot b1 cross b2 that means i am trying to dot this vector with this so what happens this x2 minus x1 gets multiplied x2 minus x1 their respective i coefficients get multiplied so x2 minus x1 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 then minus y2 minus y1 into a1 c2 minus a2 c1 then plus z2 minus z1 into a1 b2 minus a2 b1 okay now what happens what will happen what is this equal to can you tell me what is this equal to what is this equal to 